Hello everybody, this is Karm Killed the Cat, and welcome to the first episode of this Lua 5.2 tutorial series. So, before we get started, I just want to give a brief explanation on what this series is going to include. So, I'm only going to be teaching the base language of Lua in this series. I'm not going to be going over any external libraries or APIs that have been added to Lua. I'm only going to be going over what comes with Lua when you download it. So now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the program that we'll be using to write and run our Lua code. So what you have to do first is you have to look up Zero Brain on Google. So it's not going to appear in autocomplete for you. I've already looked it up before. So Zero Brain spelled Z E R O B R A N E. So search for that, and the first result should be Zero Brain Studio Lua IDE slash editor slash debugger for Windows. And if you're on Mac, you can also download it for Mac. So click on that, and it will take you to this website. And in the upper right-hand corner, the, there will be a list going left to right of different links. And the one on the far left should be download. So click on that, and it will take you to a page that asks for donations. If you want to donate, you can, but I'd recommend downloading it for free first and then donating if you like it. So to just get it for free, click Other, and then just put Zero in the box. And then instead of clicking Pay with Card, just click Take Me to the Download page this time. So now you'll be given this list of different platforms that you can download. So download the Windows 32-bit EXE installer if you're on Windows, the Mac OS X file if you're on Mac, and the Linux file if you're on Linux. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows one. And I already have the program installed, so I'm not going to show you that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you should be able to follow the instructions once it's downloaded. So you just double-click it and then follow the instructions in this window and it will install it for you and then you should be able to access it from there so I'm going to cut here and when we come back we will be in our Lua editor so once you've installed the program open it and you should be at a window that looks like this uh, it will give you a file that just gives you a basic explanation of what Zero Brain does and it will also give you links to tutorials it has tutorials on the Chrome SDK Love 2D and Minecraft Turtles, but we're not going to be using any of those. What we're going to be doing is closing this file and then creating a new file either by clicking this button in the top, le top left corner or going to File and New. And this will create a file called untitled.lua. So the first thing we have to do is we have to save it. And you can save it to wherever in your computer that you want and I'd also recommend naming it so you don't have a file just named untitled so I'm gonna name it Lua 5.2 tutorial I already have a file called that so I'm gonna replace it and under the file name text box this is important you'll see star.lua for the save as type so make sure you keep it as .lua this is what tells the Lua version of a compiler to execute the file as Lua code so make sure you don't change this and then hit save. So it won't ask you to overwrite the file because you won't have a, another file with the same name but in, just in case it does click yes. So now we have our first Lua file and now the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create our first Lua program. So what this program is going to do is it's going to output a message, whatever message you want it to onto this space down here. So to write the program, it's pretty easy. You just type the word print, P-R-I-N-T, and it should turn green once you're done typing it. Here, I'll increase the text size so that you can see it better. That might be a bit much, but it's okay for now. And then after you type print, type in open parentheses, and then open quotes, and then type your message, whatever you want it to be. I'll use the classic programming example hello world so hello world and then you close the quotes and close the parentheses so now we have to save the file to run it so just hit the save button it's just the floppy disk in the upper left 
and then you'll see a play button here and if you hover over it it should say start or continue debugging and then in parentheses F5 so what you do is you hit the play button once and this is telling ZeroBrain to start execution of the program at this line or at this file and then you hit it again and it should run the file so you see all this text you can ignore all of this it's just or all of this it's just debug stuff you don't need it for now and then you'll see whatever message you put in so hello world and then it will tell you how long the program took to complete 11.10 seconds if you run it again without pausing between hitting the play button the first and second time we get a sh lower number like 1.13 so now we've uh, created our first program so that's all for this tutorial. In the next video, we'll be going over variables and math operators. So I'll see you in the next video.